hi guys welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to read the message from azure queue storage using the background service it also known as worker service before starting this video if you haven't watched my previous video on azure queue storage and how to send the message to the queue please watch that video i have added the link in the description let me get the coffee and then we can get started till then enjoy the music I'm back now let's get started before diving into the code let's see the quick definition of what is background service dotnet core the framework provides a new interface named as i hosted service helping you to easily implement the hosted service the basic idea is that you can register multiple background tasks or you can say as a hosted service that runs in the background while your web host or host is running they can be run in the sp.net core web application or alternatively they can be run using a worker service template let's jump in the code and start creating a background service using the sp.net core to create the background service using the sp.net core application what we need to do first guess we need to open the visual studio let's create a new project i'm going to use the api project uh, for this background service we'll give the project name I think I have given the big name. That's fine. A new REST API project has been created with the default template of a weather forecast controller. Let's build that project just to make sure that the template is working. Now I can see the build is success. Let's run this code. I just want to make sure that this template is working and running before I actually start creating the background service or writing start writing the code for the background service yep i can see the swagger page has been open and if i click try out execute i see the api is also working fine so we can say that this template that we have created using the visual studio 2022 is working fine now let's jump in into the project back again and we'll create the background service first we'll create a folder where we are keeping our background service so i created the folder with the name of services and here i'm going to create a new class read message service in this read message service class i will implement an abstract class called background service and just for the testing purpose i will write a message a log message in every five seconds to make sure that my background service is up and running
So my read message service will basically write this message in every five seconds. Now, as a next step, we need to register our read message service as a hosted service. To register read message service as a hosted service, we need to simply go to the program.cs. Here, type one line of code builder.service.add hosted service and give the name of the class which is read message service. You need to add the namespace of this class. Now, when we run this application, we can see in every five seconds, this is the message that is going to be logged. This will help us to ensure that our background service is up and running. After that, we can write a logic to read the message from the queue. Let's build the code and run the application. As you see, the build is success. If you see, this is the first message that has been written. Now you can see in every five seconds, the same messages start logging. Now our background service is running fine. It's time to write a logic to read the message from the Azure queue storage. To read the message from Azure queue storage, we need to download the NuGet package Azure storage queue once the package installed successfully first we need to create the object of a queue client import the namespace azure.storage.queues. This queue client will accept two parameter. First one is the connection string and the second parameter name is queue name. To get the connection string and queue name, navigate to your portal.azure.com, go to the storage account, select your storage account, select the access key, from the access key, click on show keys. Copy this connection string. Let's define the variable called connection string and paste the connection string that we just copied. Let's define another variable called queue name. To get the queue name, again, navigate to your portal.azure.com, select your storage account, and under the storage account, select the queues. This is the queue name. There might be a chance you have a multiple queues here. So from which queue that you wanna read the message, use that queue name. In my case, I'm using this weather forecast message queue name because my message will live in this queue. Let's pass these to value and let's modify a log a little bit.
now the next step is to read the message from the queue for which we just declare one variable called message is equals to queue client dot read message async and as this is a async method we will add await here forget to add the semicolon here save it format it well this line of code will read the message from the azure queue storage one thing here to remember that receive message async will work in the fifo fashion which means first in first out so if your azure queue storage has 10 messages then it will read the first message from the top as we have read the message from the azure queue storage we need to get the body of the message to get the body of the message below is the line of code first check whether the message is not null and message dot value is not equals to null this is just to handle the object reference error now here to get the body of the message is where message body is equals to message dot value dot body if i go to the definition of this property this is the content of the message that was sent to your queue storage which is the message text once we read the body of the message we can process it based on our project need just to demonstrate in this video the message that i'm going to send it to the queue is of type weather forecast model and then when i'm reading the message i will deserialize the message body into an object of weather forecast model to do that i will first use a variable dot deserialize as the message body to give the class name here now we have completed our logic to read the message from the queue read the message body and then we are processing the message body it's time to run the application let me build the code first build successfully I'll put the debugger here for testing purpose. I have added few messages in my queue. Now, when our background service is running, it keep reading the messages from the weather forecast message queue. So if I read the message body and after that it will deserialize the message and the messages test i have added some dummy data here it will call again in five seconds Treated the message successfully from the queue. This background service is running until my REST application is running. And if I go to my Azure queue storage and refresh, here you can see the DQ count. The DQ count, it means this message has been read two times. As you see, keep reading the messages. If you see here, it keep increasing the DQ count. It means 
our background service read the message from the queue with the incremental value it won't delete this message from the queue to delete the message from the queue we just need to write one line of code which is queue client dot delete message async we need to give the message id which we can get it from message dot value dot message id and we need to pass the pop receipt which we can got it from message dot value dot pop receipt as this is a sync method so we just need to put a wait here and we can also update the log by saying delete message from queue with the message id colon Let's build. Code build successfully. Let's run. If we see here, it start deleting the messages. It read the message and then it delete the message. Here we can see the messages that has been sent is read successfully and also after reading the message the message get deleted as well now we have no more messages because all the message has been successfully read and also after reading it it get deleted as well this is the quick demonstration of how you can create a background service using an asp.net core and read the messages from the azure queue storage in the next video I'm going to show the same thing like reading in messages from the Azure storage queue using the Azure function. If you like this video, please hit the like button, comment and subscribe my channel.